This is 29 Acacia Road. And this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. For when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. Once again, banana fans, the forces of evil were on the march. Zooming in from outer space, a Nurk battle cruiser grew closer and closer to the planet Earth. Chief Arali. Ah, tis it is. Uh, this is the International Space Observatory, Chief. We're tracking a space invader on the radio telescope. Its final orbit will put it in attack position within the hour. Ah, well, you just tell me where, son. I shall send a constable along. A constable? Listen, Chief. This is King Zog's mothership, and he's got General Blight, dozens of Merc warriors, and a new secret weapon. This is a job for Banana Man. Right, right, right. Don't get your telescope in a twist. You see, the thing is, the big fella is out on interstellar patrol right now. But, 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 I shall get him on his two way wrist radio. Ah, and they're somewhere in outer space, eh? That's not much to go on, Chief, but I'll do my best. Not long now, General Blight, and we shall reach attack position. And then, King Zor? And then, and then we aim my new secret weapon at the planet Earth. <laughs> For one split second, it will stop spinning. Gasp! And then we'll start it up again, but anti-clockwise. <laughs> I can see it now. Skyscrapers will tumble. Bath water will run down the plug hole the opposite way. And clocks will go backwards. Precisely. And in that confusion, Mon General, we shall take over. I've always said it, Zorg. You're not just a pretty face. <laughs> God. Boom, 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 boom. I should be making contact just about now. And there it is. Look, mother shit. And on your right, ladies and gentlemen, the constellation Orion with its magnificent good grief. There's Banana Man. Quick, Max, fire a burst of artificial asteroids. As you command, O oh, Patriarch of Pluto, Grand Vizier of Venus, Second Trombone of the Jupiter Jazz All-Star, Just and... press the button, Henry, all right. Sorry. <laughs> uh, an asteroid Right, Nurx, roll out the magnet and switch on the current. Quick, grill bananas, boss! Oh, here they are! It's slowing down! Banana Man's little pal was right. The Earth was indeed slowing down. The skyscrapers trembled. The police station was shaken. And Chief O'Reilly was alarmed. Oh, of course, of course! Now listen, boss. It's very deadly. Unlike poles attract, light poles repel. If you say so, Crow. I just did. What we need is a magnetic pole of our own to beat those nerves, right? Now come in. This is what we're going to do. Here it is, the North Pole. There. In seconds, the Nurks were going to spin the Earth anti-clockwise. Could one lone space fighter stop them? Another close call, Crow. And I've saved the world again. How do I do it? Oh, I, uh, I think it's personal magnetism, boss. <laughs> personal mango. Ah, sometimes I think we're poles apart. Really?
29 Acacia Road, and this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. When Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. Now then, this scheme of yours for overcoming Banana Man, tell me more, Dr. Gloom. With my new clone machine, we can produce an exact copy of any living creature and then program it to carry out our order. Let me show you. Now, remember Apple Man? Yes, particularly his last encounter with Banana Man. Apple Man crumbled. <laughs> One Apple Man wasn't enough, I grant you that. But think of two or three or more clone Apple Men. We shall see, Doctor. Proceed. Right. Now, to make a clone, we insert a coin in the machine, and our subject on a conveyor belt is carried into the duplicating chamber. The little wheels spin around and around. And bingo! Very good, Doctor, but, but they seem lifeless. Ah, they're alive all right, but they're locked in a force field until I pull one of these release levers. What a prospect! An army of bad apples! But, Doctor, are they bad enough? Bad? Weem rotten to the core. Now, if we could get Banana Man and produce just one evil Banana Man of our own. Brilliant, Doctor! That would mean double trouble for Banana Man. But wait! Look at those three ducks on the wall. Can't be. Gotcha! <gasps> it's Crow, Doctor. Banana Man's little friend. Or should I say, little spy? Quack, quack? That's enough, bird brain. You're just the bait we need to set our trap. It's Crow, boss. They got me, pal. I'm a prisoner of the bad guys. I understand, Crow. Where are you being held? Around the neck. I'm at Dr. Gloom's surgery, Big B. But be careful. They're going to... <laughs> put on the crow and throw the That's tower. enough of that. We'll be waiting, Banana Man. <laughs> Innocent. You hear me? I'm innocent. Quiet. We'll let this turkey go, Banana Man, if you'll just stand over there. Very well. Let him go. Why not? There's nothing they can do my super strength is not equal to. It's uncanny. Ah, yes. They're exactly alike, except for intelligence. No matter, once our Banana Man is programmed, he will be an unthinking robot of destruction. But first, a trial of strength. Take that! No, you take that! Oh, Oof, ow, yikes! Oof, etc. You've done it, Doctor. We shall triumph now that Banana Man joins the forces of evil. Oh, no, he won't, General. You won't get away with this. Oh, no, he won't, General. You won't get away with this. Oh, oh yes, yes, we will. will. Come with me to the computer room, General. We shall work out a program. How can I get Banana Man out of this? But which one is he? Quick, Crow, I'm the real Banana Man. Set me free. Quick, Crow, I'm the real Banana Man. Set me free. Uh, there's only one way to find out. Now you, can you tell me Boyle's law? The volume of a given mass of gas kept at one uniform temperature varies inversely as the pressure. Very good. And now you, which is heavier, a ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? What kind of feathers? Ah, it's you. Well done, Crow. But how did you know I was the real banana man? Oh, well, it was the way you spotted that trick question, boss. Of course.
This is 29 Acacia Road, and this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. For when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. You're just in the nick of time, Mr. Peel. I'm down to my last two bananas. That's what I came to tell you, Eric. I don't have any. You mean, you don't have any bananas? Yes, we have no bananas. Not a single banana boat has left the Banana Republic in over a fortnight because of an outbreak of spotty banana blight. There are also unconfirmed reports of a new arrival in the banana jungle. A mysterious stranger wearing a tin helmet and a false nose. False nose? False nose? This is the real thing, Fiona. Without bananas, I can never transform myself into Banana Man to carry on the fight against crime and injustice. And I've only got two bananas left. <coughs> oh, heck. I suppose it must have been overripe. Well, the last banana. Here goes. Those biting remarks were lost on Banana Man. The supersonic sleuth was on his way. Ah, welcome to our humble banana plantation, senor. I say, haven't we met before? I'm sure I've seen that false nose somewhere. Possibly. I am a master of a thousand disguises, and one of them is Banana Health Officer. <laughs> Banana hombre, my faithful enchilada, while I give him something for air sickness. Air sickness? I don't get air sick. I can fly like a bird. Never mind, it's good for dandruff as well. Oh. Oh. When I left, the big banana fainted. I always knew he was yellow. <laughs> Let us go then, my faithful sombreros. We've got a new crop of bananas that needs spotting. Uh, I didn't really paint the banana man. That was a trick. Now I shall track them to their hideout. I know. Looks like the real thing, doesn't it? <laughs> instant banana blight. Or instant trouble, General Blight. The game's up. Curses! He's seen through my clever disguise. Charge, my brave tortillas! <laughs> <laughs> They had me worried, fans, for a millisecond. But those fellows just couldn't stand up to banana power. Now, let me see. Now, yeah, right, now, change gear. Change gear? Right. Now, the conveyor should bring back those spots. Like the bananas. Now, get the spray gun thingy. There's the spray gun. And reverse it. Reverse? And there goes the spot. Oh, yeah. And finally, General Blight, a taste of your own medicine. Banana man, you drive me dotty! Banana nuts, senor. I am the real banana health officer. I declare all those bananas healthy and delicious. But this bunch, they'll be locked up in quarantine for a long, long time. Senor. And so, thanks to Banana Man, once again the world is a safer place for... Bananas!
This is 29 Acacia Road. And this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. But when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. this program to bring you a special satellite bulletin from the planet Nurk. Greetings, Earthlings. This is King Zorg of the Nurks. We have decided to stop attacking your planet. We want to be friends. That's why we're inviting you to this year's Intergalactic Olympics. If you have a champion, let him come forward. Why don't you send up the big fella? Him in the blue underwear. Oh! Ah, oh, yes, Mother Nurk. Banana Man. Unless he's afraid to accept our challenge. <laughs> Flipping heck! We'll show him who's afraid! So the great sky fighter rocketed through space, this time to face the cream of interplanetary athletes at the Nurk Olympic Stadium. Inside the stadium, the weightlifting competition was in its final stages. The powerful Nurks were eliminated, and Apple Man dropped out. Only two contestants were left. Join us as Morris the Muscle of the Dunn Rhyme and Ready Club attempts to find you. Oh, it's up then, it's up, it's up! It's the last lap race, the and here come the three from the sprinting down the home straight. We've got Nettie Nurk in the lead, Banana Man and Jim O'Blake.
29 Acacia Road. And this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. For when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. Welcome to my new TV show, Memory Lane. Let's see if you can recognize tonight's mystery guest from these film clips. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Mole. Sayonara. And a little fried rice. Where? Look behind you. I shall destroy you. Hot stuff, eh? Yes, yes, you've spotted him. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for a banana man. Now, I know you're very modest about your adventures, Banana Man, but can I ask you to share some of them with your banana fans? As you say, Fiona, I am modest about my spectacular battle to save civilization as we know it. But maybe it is time banana fans knew the true story behind my fantastic exploits. Single-handed, I've been fighting an intergalactic uh, gang yeah, of yeah, villains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Single-handed? What about me? And they're led by my arch-enemy, General Blight. I tell you, Doctor, I could take over the world if it weren't for Banana Man. Sometimes I think he's indestructible. But we don't have to destroy him. He's talking to his old school chum, the mad scientist, Doctor Gloom. Anyway, I can deal with the big banana. Just get him to my surgery. Leave the rest to me. No, thank you. If he's the doctor, I'd rather be ill. Who's next, boss? Well, Crow, General Blight and Dr. Gloom are the enemy's brains. This fellow is the brawn. He's called Apple Man. Now, listen to me, Apple Man. Your mission is to seek out and destroy Banana Man. It's up to you. To hear is to obey. Boy, boy, for now, Doc. My, what a terrible trio. Trio? Fiona, they're only the beginning. The General has a full orchestra of villains. That's the Weatherman, Captain Cream, the Heavy Mob, King Zorg, and his nurks. And worst of all, Auntie, the General's hit lady. When she drove that steamroller over me, I thought it was bye-bye bananas. Oh, Banana Man, a steamroller? What happened next? It made quite an impression on me, Fiona. Well, viewers, isn't Banana Man incredible? Fighting all those villains single-handed. Now she's at it! We're single-handed! Tell me, who got him out of scrapes like this one? Uh, uh, drop away and pull out Banana Man! There's still time! But it's no use, little fella. I guess it's... <laughs> Goodbye. No! No, grab this rope, boss. <laughs> Crow, you saved my life. And you risked yours to save mine, Banana Man, when you followed me into the clutches of that monster Ping Pong. It's no use struggling. This is the end. But uh, thanks for trying to save me, Banana Man. Banana Man? <gasps> you, Jane. You, Tarzan. Uh, no, old chap. Actually, I'm Banana Man. How do you do? And this is Fiona, sweetheart of the airwaves. Oh, sorry. I uh, must be in the wrong film. Come, Fiona, fly with me. Anyway, Mr. Wonderful. That's me. Oh, Banana Man. Oh, Fiona. Oh, Banana Man. <laughs>